for your next comedian, Alistair Henry. Hey, yuck yucks. A bit about me. I'm Jewish, and um, I like a good challenge, so I married a German. <laughs> One night, the German and I were in bed together. <laughs> she didn't see the irony, but for the first time, it was Jew gassing a German. <laughs> but it's true, payback is a bitch. So, in my life, the only violence I've known are the two times my penis was held at knife point. It's true. First, my mother had me circumcised. <laughs> then the German convinced me to get a vasectomy. She had the cat and the dog neutered, and I think she worked out her deal. Buy two, get the third one free. <laughs> but it's actually a double insult, because the one they give you for free is always the one of lesser value. So the two most significant women in my life, they both looked at my genitals and thought, we can improve this. <laughs> like it was their own personal home rental project. <laughs> now, after the vasectomy, the German said, you're like the nine o'clock gun in Stanley Park. Why? Because I only shoot blanks. Oh. No, I have to explain to her, I'm nothing like the nine o'clock gun. Because it's long and black, it goes off every night, and people line up to look at it. <laughs> that was a fun conversation to have with her. Now, it actually didn't work out between us. It turns out there are some pretty major cultural differences with a Jew marrying a German. Perfect example. There's one time we went to a Jewish bakery to buy a type of bread called a challah. Now, we couldn't see the prices anywhere, so she walks right up to the Jewish baker and says, what's the challah cost? <laughs> now, remember, she said this to a man whose job is to put things into ovens. <laughs> Did I mention I'm divorced? <laughs> I'm done with Germans. I think I'm gonna find a girl with a different nationality for my next ex-wife. Maybe a cute Palestinian. <laughs> so after I got divorced, I wanted to get away. I wanted to find a remote South Pacific island to hang out on. And I found one. So remote, in fact, that they just recently stopped practicing cannibalism. I was nervous. So when I was there, I saw a girl checking me out. And at first, I was, I was really happy. Then I recognized the look in her eye. It's the exact same look I get every time I'm about to chow down on a McChicken. She was looking me up and down, and I swear she was thinking, 100% all white meat. But look, it's gotta be difficult to make the cultural shift to say we are no longer gonna eat people. We'll try vegetables. But I get it, they wanted to be healthier. They wanted a more balanced diet. But there was a simpler solution. Just eat vegans. <laughs> They're almost plant-based. They'd be nutritious. You know, there are a lot of vegans here in Vancouver. We should export them. Wouldn't that be a win-win? And actually, it would be a renewable resource, because there'll always be more. Now, as an aside, the German, she's a vegan. So we got divorced last year, and I found that coming up here and doing stand-up comedy has really helped me get back into the dating scene. Because now, I'm completely at ease with women laughing at me. Like that. So, like everybody else, I downloaded Tinder. Wow. That's like going to some crazy all-you-can-eat buffet. Yeah. Maybe I've seen you, I don't remember which way I swiped. So, what do we have here? I like hot sticky buns, but I don't want crabs. Again. I'm not really in the mood for a tossed salad. Nice melons. I did not come here for a wiener. No, what I'm looking for are fish tacos, and I'm gonna finish them off with a cream pie. I have no shame, I will take your groans. 
look, this is a really hard city to date in. Wouldn't it be fantastic if dating was as simple as ordering a coffee at Starbucks? Um, I'll have a tall, blonde, flat white. Um, make that non-fat. And not too hot. I want it to go down easily. 